It's a great pleasure to be here today uh, to open formally the new home for the Department of Chemical Engineering and Biotechnology. In this new home, the department draws together expertise that bridges traditional boundaries of chemical engineering and biotechnology. It's also the home of a department which has an outstanding track record of innovation. Its research spans from artificial heart valves to affordable disease diagnostic tools. I thank all of you for your commitment to Cambridge and for your investment in the future of our university. And I'd now like to declare the department officially open. My name is Michelle Splensky and I'm a final year PhD student in the department and I study how metal organic frameworks can be used as a platform for therapeutic delivery. As a final year PhD student I've been able to experience the change between going from the old building to this new facility and actually the, the movement the move and all of that in between and I think that being able to see how much more collaborative everyone is when they're just put in a space that allows for that nature. I've always been collaborative with um, a couple groups in this department, specifically the laser analytics group and the molecular neuroscience group. It makes for a really nice conversation and being able to discuss techniques that we both utilize and before I would have had to walk down the street just to have those conversations and I didn't even know that they existed. And we're both in the Cambridge Analytical Biotechnology Group and we both work on a project around uh, creating a low-cost biosensor for health diagnostics in low-resource settings. It's an interesting project because it encompasses a large variety of different challenges going from just developing the gene itself all the way to implementing it on the device. Um, gene development can start from choosing which protein you want to help you with the biosensor to then stitching together the various proteins you want down in the DNA uh, level and then eventually getting um, bacteria cultures such as E. coli to start producing uh, these proteins in mass quantities. And once that's done, you can easily just burst open these cells, extract the uh, protein, and then give it to uh, people like Cassie who work on the devices. Uh, the space is really uh, integrated between all the different groups. Um, so just the other day I was uh, talking with a friend in the computational modeling group about how we could potentially get a bit more information about our system through joining forces with them and that kind of thing. I am a postdoctoral research associate here in the Department of Chemical Engineering and Biotechnology and uh, I work in the broad field of bioelectronics and here in Cambridge I work on in vitro bioelectronics on uh, scaling up in vitro uh, platforms for cell-based uh, toxicity uh, testing. The Department of Chemical Engineering and Biotechnology is a highly multidisciplinary environment that combines engineering uh, and biotechnology. There are diverse group groups, um, leading groups uh, in both fields that can really uh, help us uh, identifying uh, biological targets, um, identifying uh, specific uh, problems and, uh, and engineering from our side uh, solutions to those pro uh, problems using our core expertise. So we can really access um, 
diverse disciplines, excellent scientists, also facilities in, in, here in the West Campus uh, that are close by uh, we can use and thus um, really uh, advance on this highly multidisciplinary uh, yet very promising um, approach for uh, in vitro toxicology.